We are in this uh, era of everyone connected, the hyper-connectivity. Uh, we have the hyper-connected citizen, consumer and user. And this has been uh, very short in time if we look uh, on the past, probably on the last uh, six, seven, eight years. But still, a lot of things to be done on that space because uh, we are supposed to connect at least five, six, seven times the, the times we connect today. Cellnex today has a very strong position as a neutral infrastructure manager all over Europe. We are very much focused on the wholesale market. This is a B2B for the, for the MNOs. Our value contribution to the market is mainly uh, rationalization, it's sharing all these infrastructures, it's making all this more, even more efficient and helping these companies to deploy and to rationalize all this investment, which is very well demanded. Indoor coverage and capacity is something very demanding nowadays. And Cellnex has understood this, and uh, mainly through DAS solutions, which are uh, distributed antenna systems, we decided to acquire uh, Comscom. Comscom operates in the biggest cities like Milano, Torino and Rome, with more than 1,400 nodes. We provide our services in big and high traffic area we have installed, for example, in Romo Plaza and in other 200 places in Milan where millions of people can be connected directly in 3G and 4G systems and with a very good customer experience. We offer our service also in all the subway of Milan, also in Genova subway and other subways. Our small cell are installed also in San Siro Stadium, the most titled stadium in the world. Thanks to our technology, Thousands of football fans are now able to share all at the same time messages, photos and videos of the game on social media using their wireless devices. Small cell represent the future. Operators nowadays use their own small cell. Comscon instead offers already the possibility for all operators to operate on the same small cell. In Europe, it is estimated that quite half a million small cells will be rolled out up to 2020. We consider that the market for small cells in open and indoor spaces will be the main driving force of telecommunications infrastructure in the coming years. The European Commission is making a huge effort to be relevant with the 5G deployment. This is a kind of a continental battle between Asia, Europe and states and as Europe we need to be there. We are trying first to understand what's going to happen, what is this new paradigm. 5G introduces a different way on the radio access, a different way very much connected with fiber. Uh, all this edge computing, so that's going to be crucial for artificial intelligence use cases, for virtual reality use cases, for the connected things, especially the car, and also, and this is important too, the virtualization. Since we will have many things connected and more demand from the data connectivity point of view, we need to be sure that sustainability is uh, happening at the same time. We need to be sure that we work on reducing this energy consumption, making uh, clean energies uh, happening and sharing all this deployment in between different uh, MNOs, different uh, players, but same resource. That would be one of our must in terms of sustainability for the upcoming years.